Science Stream, Quarter 4, Week 2. Today, we are going to tackle the uses of water and landforms. We will also study the different ways on how we will take care of our Mother Earth. Are you ready to learn? Learning competency with code. The learners should be able to relate the importance of surroundings to people and other living things. Many food sources come from plants and animals grown on land and water. For today, we are going to study the uses of water and landforms. Furthermore, we will also tackle the various ways on how we will take care of our Mother Earth. Water can be used in different ways. Now, I will show you some illustrations of the uses of water. Let's identify and enumerate its uses. First picture. Second picture. Third. Fourth. And fifth. Can you name the uses of water? Very good. Water can be used for drinking, bathing, cleaning, washing clothes, and watering the plants. I'm sure you are all familiar with this water form. Very good. This is a Waterfalls Waterfalls may be used as source of energy. The creation of hydroelectric power begins with a water turbine. This device consists of angled blades wrapped around a wheel. Its operation is analogous to that of a pinwheel with the turbine spinning as it comes into contact with moving water. When the turbine is placed in the path of falling water, the turbine moves a shaft which in turn powers an electrical generator. Located in Iligan City, the Maria Cristina is nothing like the ordinary. Not only does it boast its glorious beauty, but it is also very valuable to the locals there. The 320-foot waterfall has a strong current that has been estimated to have a capacity of around 200 megawatts. That supplies 70% of Mindanao's electricity. Seas and oceans are sources of minerals like potassium, magnesium, and manganese. The common table salt also comes from the sea. We can get our food from different bodies of water. Fishes and other food are caught from bodies of water. Can you name food that came from these bodies of water? Very good. We can have squid, shrimps, fishes, lobsters, and crabs. What is shown in our illustrations? Very good. 
Water forms can be used for sports and recreational activities. Examples of water activities that we can do are surfing, boating, jet skiing, and swimming. Another importance of water forms is that oceans and seas are used to transport goods. Now, let's discuss the uses of landforms. What can you see in our illustrations? Very good! Farmers plant rice, corn, cassava, potatoes, vegetables, and fruits in farms and fields. So you see, we get our food from plains or farms. Second, meat and dairy products like milk, butter, and cheese come from cows, goats, and pigs. What do you think is the next use of landforms? Mountains are sources of big trees that are used as raw material in building homes, furniture, and paper products. To make paper from trees, the raw wood must first be turned into pulp. Wood pulp is a watery soap or cellulose, wood fibers, lining, water, and the chemical used during the pulping process. People build their communities on a landform. Houses, parks, schools, and other infrastructures are built on lands for relaxation, learning, and earning. Many means of transportation run on land. Forests are home to several animals such as tiger, lion, elephant, eagles, and many more. Many human activities form the water forms and land forms of Earth. These activities affect the resources used by humans. The more these resources are destroyed, the less our resources become. How can we take care of our Mother Earth? First, we need to continue planting trees to reduce soil erosion and floods. Moreover, Illegal cutting of trees destroy the homes of different animals. A lot of trees can hold a large amount of water, will die too. Without trees, floods and landslides may occur. Paying in or the burning of trees can also destroy forests and mountains. Garbage should be segregated into biodegradable and non-biodegradable. Do you know their differences? Biodegradable materials can be defined as materials which can be decomposed by bacteria or other natural organisms and not be adding to pollution. Non-biodegradable materials can be defined as kind of substances which cannot be broken down by natural organisms and acts as a source of pollution. Waste segregation, on the other hand, 
is the separating and sorting of waste to facilitate recycling. And when sorted, waste is more easily recycled, thereby saving your money. We have the five R's. Refuse, Reduce, Reuse, Repair, and Recycle. Think about it. Zero waste life is not only planet friendly, but also wallet friendly. By reducing the amount of trash you produce, you'll save up to 40% of your money. Refrain throwing garbage in different bodies of water. Be responsible with your waste. Do not overly use fertilizers and pesticides because it will pollute the soil. Fertilizers provide crops with nutrients like potassium, phosphorus, and nitrogen, which allow crops to grow bigger, faster, and to produce more food. However, applying excessive amount of fertilizer leads to the release of harmful greenhouse gases into the atmosphere and the eutrophication of our waterways. What do we mean by eutrophication? It is the excessive richness of nutrients in a lake or other body of water frequently due to runoff from the land, which causes a dense growth of plant life and death of animal life from lack of oxygen. Using dynamite to catch fishes can kill other aquatic animals. It can also destroy their habitats. Trivia time! Have you heard of Dead Sea? Located on the border between Israel and Jordan, the Dead Sea is one of the most intriguing natural phenomena on Earth. Aside from some microorganisms and algae, this saltwater lake is completely devoid of life. There's no seaweed, fish, or any other creatures found in and around its turquoise water. Life cannot survive in Dead Sea. The Dead Sea is one of the saltiest bodies of water on Earth, with almost 10 times more salt than ordinary sea water. This is because water flows into the Dead Sea from one main tributary, the River Jordan. It has then has no way to get out of the lake and so is forced to evaporate. The soaring hot and dry condition of this region mean that large quantities of water are evaporated. This leads to the salt and other minerals becoming more and more concentrated. In fact, it's estimated that in the whole of the Dead Sea, there is about 37 billion tons of salt. The Dead Sea's salt concentration is 34%. This high concentration of salt makes the water very dense. The human body, by comparison, is not as dense as the salt water. Therefore, humans float in the Dead Sea. Now, Let's have some activities. Activity 1. Save us. Look at the pictures. Complete the cost and effect charts. Write your answer in the box. Number 1 is already done for you.
Number one, cleaning the backyard. What is the effect? Clean environment is good for your health. Number two, illegal cutting of trees. What do you think will be the effect? Number three, throwing garbage in the river. What do you think will be the effect? Number four, fishing using dynamite. What do you think will be the effect? Number five, planting trees. What do you think will be the effect? Number six, segregation of waste. What will be the effect? Activity two, minds on. Create a collage of pictures showing the importance of surroundings to people and other living things. <music>